Hello everyone and welcome to the premiere edition of On Deck with the Sports Report Girl. I am Sheena from thesportsreportgirl.com here to recap and, well, poke a little fun at the week's top stories from the world of baseball. First up, the New York Yankees opened their new stadium in the Bronx and where the old Yankee stadium was known as the house that Ruth built, this addition is clearly the house that the taxpayers built. One and a half billion dollars is a ridiculous amount of money for a ballpark. But from all accounts, it is an incredibly beautiful palace. I mean, place. From the field, you think you're at the old Yankee Stadium, which isn't a bad thing. But everywhere else, the amenities are top notch. Too nice, some have said. I mean, really? Who needs a private membership club at a baseball stadium, let alone two private clubs like the Yankees have? I mean, isn't that the point of going to a game to actually sit in the stands, watching and cheering? If you're not doing that, then you might as well be at the corner bar watching on TV with all the other poor stats who couldn't afford $2,000 a ticket. Of course, I exaggerate, not all tickets are that price. In fact, the average cost for a seat at the new stadium is only up 78% from last year, which it clearly has to be the case if the Steinbrenners are gonna repay the taxpayers, right? As for their on-field performance, the pinstripes have struggled. Part of that is due to the disappointing outings from Chin Ming Wong. FYI, Chin Ming, having an ERA that's higher than Dwayne Wade's regular season scoring average, not a good thing. Moving on, the New York Mets opened their own brand new ballpark, and like their crosstown rivals, it too was funded partly with taxpayer dollars. Considering what a dump Shea Stadium was, owner Fred Wilpin decided to start from scratch. Part of that process was coming up with a new name. To the highest bidder, of course, and thus we have City Field. They may have only used $165 million of public funds, but they're getting another $20 million annually for the next 20 years off the naming rights. Considering the bailout money Citigroup got from the U.S. government, that's an additional $400 million from the taxpayers. Like the saying goes, it's nice work if you can get it. Speaking of the Mets, they open their new digs on Jackie Robinson Day, a day when every player, manager, and umpire throughout the majors wore the number 42. It was a beautiful sight. But let me scratch my head why those that set the schedule would allow both New York franchises to open their new parks on consecutive dates. Would it have killed the league offices to separate the two openings by a week or so? I'd be pissed if I were a Mets fan. You get one day in the spotlight, then it's all about the Yankees and their superior stadium. Also, slugger Gary Sheffield hit his 500th home run last week, joining a list of only 25 other players to even reach that mark. An interesting side note, Sheffield hit his first career homer as a member of the Brewers back in 88, and now gets his 500th playing against them. As a Met, Sheff is with his eighth team, which is the most of any player on that list. And though the season is only a couple of weeks old, we have some surprising starts by the likes of Seattle, Florida, Toronto, and San Diego. We'll keep a close watch on these teams to see if they're for real or start to fade long before the dog days of summer. And finally, I can't remember another time when we had so many passings in baseball. First, Nick Aidenhart, then Mark Fidrich, and now Harry Callis. Aidenhart's death was a sheer tragedy. And Fidrich, well, bad things can happen when you're dealing with machinery on a farm. But Callis was a giant in broadcasting for decades in both baseball and football. But fitting of a true champion, he had the honor of throwing out the first pitch on April 8th, the day the Phillies received their World Series championship rings. Though Callis may be gone, his voice will live in our hearts forever. Here's a stretch by Suter, the 2 old pitch. Long drive! Deep left center! Out of here! A three-run homer! Okay guys, you've been on deck with the Sports Report Girl, but please don't forget to leave your comments. And if you like the show, be sure to subscribe and tell a friend. Until next week, bye-bye.